Welcome back to another episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. We're here at Bruvy Cinema Pub reviewing more films for you. I'm Jimmy Martin with KUTV. You can catch me on KUTV every Saturday and Sunday morning, 7 to 8 a.m., 2 news this morning. I'm Jeff Counts, and before you do the thing below my name, I need to explain to people why I'm here. I have zero professional affiliations that would make it appropriate for me to be sitting here. That's why I'm telling you I'm the voice of America. I'm the man of the people. So under my name, Jeff Counts, just put man of the people. That's all I ask. I think I'm just going to put just a guy. <laughs> Back to you, Jimmy. Just a guy. Just a guy. But you can find Big Movie Mouth Off on Xfinity Channel 6. Also on their on-demand system. It's Utah On Demand. Movies and film. It's a new section for us, but it's more appropriate. Uh, Big Movie Mouth Off banner right there. Movies, young and old. Uh, you know, if it's older, maybe you missed it, but maybe it's on Blu-ray and DVD. Or uh, like this one, it's in theaters. It's the Equalizer. You catch that fish yet? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. It's a happy ending. Not exactly. The old man met his greatest adversary just when he thought that part of his life was over. Why didn't he just let the fish go? Old man's got to be the old man. Fish has got to be the fish. Got to be who you are in this world, right? No matter what. Hey, we better know what you did before you got here for a living. I was a pip. You know, like Gladys Knight in the pips. Oh! <laughs> Refunds for me when you're done. Open the register up right now. Move. Give me that ring. It was my mother. Please. It's okay, Jenny. What's she doing about? It is about a guy who's a knight in shining armor, except he lives in a world where knights don't exist anymore. Well, uh, the story behind this one is well, first of all, you gotta let's talk about the people that are involved with it. It's Denzel Washington. Uh, partnering back up with his, uh, the director that actually garnered him an Oscar right. for Training Day, that's Anton Fuqua. Uh, so they're back together. It's been 13 years since they did Training Day. Uh, you said an, an old one, so it's based off the 1985 television right. series. Right. Uh, so relaunching it, uh, he plays Robert McCall, uh, an ex CIA agent, government operative, uh, lives a quiet life. Yep. Works at the Home Mart. Yep. <laughs> uh, eats at the diner. You know, same diner, same table, same seat every day. Probably very, very meal. regimented yeah. life. Very much. Uh, and, OCD. Uh, <laughs> that's putting it lightly. Yeah. Um, and so befriends Chloe Grace Moretz, who we all know from Kick Ass and Let Me In. Great actress. Um, she, well, she's playing an escort yeah. or, or a prostitute for the you know, the rough edges. Can I just say that this is, I find the first fatal flaw with this movie, the fact that that hit girl can't take care of herself. Sad. I find that unacceptable. It's, it makes me sad, it makes yeah. me cry. You do know they're movies, not every character transfers. I was not aware of that, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chloe Grace Reds plays a, a prostitute for the Russian mob. The more, I'd say, ugly and darker side of that fact is that she's only 17 years old. Yeah. That's in real life, I don't even know how old her character is. But she looks young, so it kind of makes it that much grosser. They, well, they say she gets started very young, like at uh, 12 or something. It's, it's ugly. And, and, that's, yeah. you know, and that's even, and we'll get to even more of the, of the fact that this movie is very dark, very violent. Um, so Denzel Washington's character notices that, while well, she's not being treated uh, in a proper gentleman manner that a, 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 an ex-CIA operative with the regiment would, would be treating someone else. Right. So, not up to his standards. Nope, nope, not at all. And uh, so he decides to have a chat, let's say, with the, uh, with the individuals at question. And it doesn't really go well. And, you know, sometimes we say wackiness ensues on this show. He chats hard. I promised I would never go back to being that person. But when somebody does something unspeakable, you do something about it, because you can. I mean about a girl. <laughs> 16 seconds. Let's just say he ends up killing everyone in the entire room, uh, and the and the mobsters back on on the other side of the ocean, on, across the pond. Well, they get word of it, and they want they want answers, uh, but they don't realize that the person who's going to give them those answers is Denzel Washington. Right. Uh, and again, wackiness ensues. 
<laughs> Jumping on this, okay, so Anton Fuqua and Denzel Washington are a match made in heaven, in my opinion. Yep. It's you know I know this is only two down, down down the barrel, but they, they still found have... something though a chemistry between the two of them that's incredible. This movie is yeah. all about Denzel. Yeah. You know, uh, it's it's a it's a it's one of those performances that it's very calm, cool, collected. Yeah. And that's actually for Denzel Washington and you know and the villain in this in this film as well. You know, no one's shouting over each other. No. No one's making a spectacle until it's time to throw down, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it's more just a very calculated, you know, plan of attack. I think that's the strongest part of this movie is the performance of Denzel. I mean, we've seen this sort of thing before. Liam Neeson does it every week. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan just did it. Bruce Willis does it in a different way, but Denzel's so much better an actor than all those guys yeah. that he can just pull this smoldering thing off for two and a half hours and you don't even question it. It's yeah. really incredible. And kudos to, to Washington as well. I mean, like, you know, we say a uh, plan of attack. Most of the stuff, I think he only shoots somebody like maybe once. Everything else, I swear, is hand to hand combat. Yeah. So, like, and Denzel's, I believe, in his 50s at least. I'll, I'll, I'll be generous. I think that I'm not going to try to guess his age and make him feel bad or anything, but yeah. he, he's older than I, and I couldn't do this stuff, you know? Yeah. Uh, and he makes it look so effortless, you know? Yep. He doesn't break a sweat. You know, there's a scene where, you know, we said he goes and visits the mobsters. He's sitting there like, all right, well, they're not, they're not paying attention to what I'm saying, so, uh, God, what, 13 seconds, I'm gonna kill them all? Okay, let's do it. Let's it, unleashes it, and yeah. then he looks at it and goes, ah, uh, 19. Yeah. I'm disappointed. And he just sort of shrugs like, well, you know, we're gonna have to learn from that one. Yeah, learn from that one, maybe yeah. do an extra push-up tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Run an extra mile. So, you know, there's that part of it that I love, but, you know, it, and I kind of have an insider, uh, uh, you know, look at this one because I got to talk with both yeah. of them. And you know, I asked Anton Fuqua because, like I said, this movie is very violent, even from the sense of where Chloe Grace and Red's character is. Um, you know, there are scenes where I'll, I'll flat out say it: Denzel Washington kills a dude with a power drill. Yep. And it's not even turned on. Yep. <laughs> you know? Oh, it's got a battery pack. Oh, a battery pack. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. For, for the for the carpenter on the go. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, and, and, and on that note, I also thought, I was like, why did Home Depot or Lowe's jump in on this? It's because he kills, like, what, 40 dudes? <laughs> it, it's, it's already to my dad's incredible shame that I'm a fish out of water in a hardware store, but I'm never going in one again. No. I no. mean, you know, everything can kill you accidentally in there, but this is people getting killed on purpose yeah. with this stuff. With, like, trip wires it is and intense. bags and it nail is intense. guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the nail gun. He does shoot a nail gun. Yeah. Shoot, shoots yeah. a blow. We'll call that his gun. Then. Yeah. You know, uh, that's yeah. how it is for me. Yeah. Is, <laughs> you know, like, you know, I walked in one the other day. I was like, I don't know. I don't feel right about this place anymore. No, absolutely. But no, it's Denzel Washington, man. With age, that guy gets cooler and cooler. More of a badass. Anton Fuqua knows how to direct him in that sense. Um, you know, oh, but what I was saying with, with the violence, though, he just, I was like, was that a conscious effort? And he's like, no, it's just what would it look like? You know, that, that's what it would look like if I, if I shot you in the neck, that's it. My question more was like, why did you show up and shoot him in the neck? You know? Right, <laughs> you right. Know, We know like Tar Tarantino sometimes, we can just turn the camera off to the side yeah. and look somewhere else. But, you know, that's what they decided to do. It's R-rated. You know, I'm a fan of films. If you're going to use an R rating, if you're going to get one, use it. You know, use it till it's, you know, not until it's full of That might get creepy. He does, and he, I mean, he does with the camera what Denzel does with his eyes the entire thing. I mean, he looks straight in these people's eyes when he's killing them, and yeah. Fuqua makes us do it too. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting what you said before about him getting such a great performance out of Denzel because the thing I like most about this movie is the thing that made me the most nervous in the previews, which is this is a well worn path. Yeah. We've seen this kind of thing before the aging assassin mm -hmm. being pulled out of retirement against his will. He's OCD, there's a hooker with a heart of gold, there's a room clearing scene. I mean, it's very tropey. There's yeah. lots of things we've seen before. Get away, fly. <laughs> <laughs> but he plays it straight. He's yeah. not cute about it. He's not, he doesn't try to be overly technical. Or, uh, seriously, fly. <laughs> he we just, call Denzel and come in to yeah. carry these. He just lets Denzel, his lead, carry it. And it's brilliant. Yeah. It's the no. thing I like most about the movie. No, and that's, you know, that, to me that shows true talent in, in a director and an actor. If you've seen it before, but you're like, you know what, I've seen that, but I'm going to do it better. Yep. Then, by all means, go for it. And I've already read that apparently they are signed on to work together again soon in a Western. I mean, so. has anyone handled the walkaway explosion scene better than he does in this? <laughs> 
I did think about the, the song. It's genius. Cool, cool guys don't look explosions. I, I did too. Yeah. But no, one, it. no one's done it better than this. Yeah. It's really. Fantastic performances all around. My only, I think, you know, just kind of, you know, I didn't walk out going, that was perfect. But, you know, a uh, little long. That's, and that's, yeah. maybe that's in my age. My wife keeps saying that. She's like, you, you say that more and more nowadays. Yeah. Like, I get tired, you know. I, I definitely didn't feel like it was too long. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Yeah. I mean, even though, like I said, there were things I felt like I'd seen before. I'd never seen them better. Yeah. And I couldn't look away. I had a little issue with the coda, the very end of the third act. Mm -hmm. I had, you know, I'm willing to suspend disbelief in just about any movie. But sure. there were some things that happened at the very, very end that I thought, is that possible yeah. after all that's gone down? But it's a small critique, yeah. really. Yeah, for me, I'm excited because uh, you know if they, do, if they do decide to do another one, he uh, well now he's using Craigslist <laughs> to find people and guess where he was using the, the interwebs. The dirtiest people on this planet, absolutely, are on Craigslist, absolutely. So uh, that's it. I just wanna play my part. Should I make waves or not? So back and forth on my brain, the tug of war rages on. A man with his skill. I want to know who he really is. If you're scared to say, don't be afraid to say no more. From this day forward, just let the mayhem talk. Take it with a grain of salt. He won't stop until he kills you and anyone you care about. I'm offering you a chance to do the right thing. Take it. What do you see when you look at me? What do you see when you look at me? This is the only thing I... I know. Over here. Just you, or are we waiting for somebody else? It's just me. Okay. It's too late to start over. I give it three and a half stars. I had a great time with it. So, uh, what about you? A solid three for me. I probably could be convinced to go three and a half. Yeah. But I just, like I said, have a little bit of an issue with the very, very end. But. I don't know that this kind of movie ever really rises to a four. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I bet if Denzel walked in that door right now, he could convince you to make it three. If and he half. walked, yeah, I'd do four and a half if he walked in that door. Move in. He Move frightens in. me. He frightens me. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Liam and You're right. Like, I just, I, yeah, sure, take it, take it. I don't, you know. Yeah. Like, he's the kind of guy. If he calls you on the phone, says something, you do it. Absolutely. There you go. Absolutely. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. We'll be here reviewing more films at Brewery Cinema Pub. Be sure to check out our Facebook page. It's Facebook.com slash big movie mouth off passes we had passes to this movie gonna have passes to a lot more so uh check it out and we'll see you next time